Okay, this bad boy right here is the 25 slot Victorinox knife block. Very, very heavy, very, very hefty, very solidly built. I thought I would go over it a bit right now. Yes, this is the 25 slot block, but depending on what size you wanna get, you can move down or whatever. It's all gonna be relatively pretty much the exact same discussion that I'm having here. So whatever you're hearing here is gonna be true for all of the blocks. It's very well built actually. It has a little bit of a rough edges somewhere, but for the price, it's, it's amazing. The logo is actually surprisingly enough, very, very nicely burned into the wood. A lot of the other manufacturers, even the very, very high end ones, they don't get to make that same claim. There's no excess glue seeping out from the joints. Everything is cut relatively square and it actually looks pretty nice. The one thing that I would say, just so you know, is looking at the bottom right here, the rubber they use for the non-stick feet or the non-slip feet is that weird sort of hard, cheaper rubber that you normally get on, on cheaper tools and stuff that leaves those little black marks if you rub it really hard on a countertop. So just once you turn it over, it's not gonna be a big deal, but once you turn it over, don't start rubbing the, the block back and forth or moving it around. Actually lift it up, move it, and place it back down. Otherwise, you need to scrub your counters clean of that weird little gunk. So that's this guy. Not too crazy of a video, but I thought I would just go over my impressions of it. I believe this is just regular, not even maple, is it? But it's just some regular weird wood, just cheap wood made in China. So if you're looking for just a random knife block and you want one that's high quality and it's actually built well and it doesn't have splinters and stuff falling everywhere, I would highly suggest this one. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested, and if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. But other than that, I have a bunch of other videos that I'm going to be making and uploading of the different Victorinox line. So look them over and let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.